Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, the Super Mario Brothers movie premiered in Japan over this past weekend and already this movie is crushing tons of Japanese box office records. As reported by NintendoEverything.com, the film grossed over 1.84 billion yen or roughly $13.5 million during its opening weekend. It beat out other releases to take the top movie spot. The Super Mario Bros. movie brought in another 339,586,180 yen on Monday. The total now sits at 2,182,490,230 yen or roughly 16 million US dollars. With the success so far, the Super Mario Bros. movie saw the best opening ever for an Illumination movie in Japan. It outperformed the weekend debuts of Despicable Me 3 at $5.4 million, which earned 750 million yen, and The Secret Life of Pets, which generated 984 million yen, which translates to 7.1 million US dollars. Additionally, the Super Mario Bros. movie is the best weekend debut for a Universal Picture, having beat out Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic World bought in 1.51 billion yen, which translates to $11 million, in its opening weekend. Now, is anybody really surprised by the success of this movie in Japan? I'm definitely not because this movie already had major success in all other regions around the world before it hit that region. All I really want to add to this is that this movie is having major success because it sticks very close to the source material and this movie doesn't add in all of these hidden political agendas like these other companies do, i.e. Marvel, DC, and the others. No, Universal, Nintendo, and Illumination did their best they can to stick to the source material and like I said in many previous videos, this movie is going to set the standard of video game movies moving forward. If you just stick to the source material, you will have success. Now, they won't be as successful as Mario because let's face it, Mario is the most recognizable and most popular video game character of all time, but if you just stick to the source material, you will have success. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video and please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here, we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.